Hello, Nicholas Jekka. Hey, Angela Mohiri. Jekka. Nearly Jekka. Nearly Jekka, okay. okay. <laughs> Welcome to our love story. It was a very simple point. So you can blame people who keep posting pictures. <laughs> yeah. So we had this friend cousin posted a picture. And when I saw her, I wanted to know who, he, who that was. Like for the very first time I reacted to a picture. Really? Is it the first time? For the very first time I reacted to a picture. <laughs> and it's a very simple picture too. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I have it. Uh, it's, it's almost like on speed dial too. Yeah, <laughs> the picture. Because every, every now and then I go back and look at it. Hmm? And I know who I fell in love with. Ah, yeah? Yeah. sweet. Yeah, I didn't know. You didn't know? Yeah. How, how many seconds was that? <laughs> <laughs> how many seconds was that? And I can pull it up that quick. So you saw a picture then? I saw a picture. I asked my buddy Alan who that was on his right. He was telling me something different. I was like, I need to know who that is on your right. That's how I met Miss. Yep, he did that. Um, that picture. <laughs> it's it's the picture in history. <laughs> so he saw that picture. My cousin Alan. Alan told me, so I have a friend, a friend who likes you. Water marathon, empty marathon. So they're in the same group. He posts the picture like where they are. So he likes the picture. Alan says, I have a friend who likes you. He wants to know you more. I tell Alan, oh, okay. <laughs> Who is that friend? I need to know where is he from. La la la. Alan says, do I give him the number or not? I'm like, please do. I actually did. I thought just. No, I hope no one gets your so number. So <laughs> you like that. I was single. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. So it's okay. <laughs> So he talks to me, sounded like a good person. We started talking like that. He told me I'm coming to see you. Before I knew it, he was here to see me. Yes, I want to know you more. So I flew in. Yes, so you flew in here to come and see me. Yes, and I said, like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he was indeed a good person. I needed to see how he looks. And I kept telling him he's a giant. He's a very tall giant. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And and am I still a giant or am not? The funniest thing, he keeps being short every day. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I saw he was so tall and big and but now he's different. I keeps big. I don't know why. What happened? I don't know. I yeah. think yeah. So since that day we're here. I'm only getting trying to get closer to you by shorter than myself. <laughs> or oh, you're getting taller. I don't know. One of the two. Uh, okay. So from the time I got to meet her till now, it's about four years. No, right from that very picture right there. I don't. I don't really. I don't like uh, people post pictures and this and that. I never react to anything. I only react to a picture. And from from then on, from reacting to that, and Alan tell, uh, answering my s top secret questions, I knew she was the one. Ah, like mm -hmm. that way though, you told me. Yeah. Meanwhile, the very day we spoke, you told me I'm going to marry Like those first days. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was kidding, <laughs> but he kept telling me I'm going to marry I'm going to marry. I don't know why. <laughs> um, the proposal was that uh, two it was two phased. I mean, to me, to me, I was already married to her, but of course, uh, to other pe uh, to her and other people, it takes. Uh, yeah, I guess what? Um, it's a process and a surprise and everything, which to me. It didn't matter exactly, but I knew it mattered to her that I had to do it, quote unquote, the traditional way. 
so I came in I was here last year October and I thought I was going to do it and then I I didn't do it why did you do it again? why did I do it? Uh -huh. somehow your ring did come <laughs> the ring did come with me that, that's, that's the reason why it didn't happen he was rushing for my birthday because he wanted my birthday he wanted to be here so he didn't have a ring that he wanted and he's so particular like he wants this ring it's the ring he wants he will not just go for this ring because i have to do it no mm -hmm. so when we ring he couldn't be he couldn't do it until he, until now until, yeah, yeah, he yeah, back yeah. for the wedding yes that's what yeah. he did he proposed when i did that i i didn't know because i knew he was going to propose my introduction because time had gone for the proposal, so I had ignored it because I knew he kept telling me it's okay, like even me I was comfortable, I knew time had gone. So on a day like we are from downtown looking for wedding things, I had, we had a long day, we had shoes that day, so he told me I should get something to eat. We went, get something to eat <laughs> from town. We sat out of nowhere, so I saw the guy nail. I was like, okay, so today is the part. I was like, I went to the function. Okay. Yeah, so he proposed. Do you remember what you say? I do. Why? What was it? I have to apologize for for taking so long. Yeah, part of my uh, part of my uh, what. Um, proposal was was the words I'm sorry and I hope I don't have to ever say them to her again but I tell apologize for taking so long to put a ring on her finger oh, yeah. you know that was so cute <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you his face was about me I was like wow this is my day actually <laughs> he didn't even say a lot but it was about me I was like huh yeah yeah. That's how he is. He will do not do something, but when he wants to do it, he do it perfect. <laughs> yeah. Thank God that you think of it as being perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I love so much about him. So much. Maybe cut it short. I love the way he loves me. He will make me feel like a princess. He will. He will tell me I'm a queen. He will do anything. He will get annoyed. I'll annoy him and I realize that we annoy him. But he will just turn and tell me and he will tell me that I love him. Yet he's annoyed. But he'll tell me he's trying to tell me that I'm annoyed, but I still love you. I'm like, okay, I love you too. He's so oh god, basically the way he loves me, so proud of me. He supports me. Whatever I do, he tell me if you love me, please do. I'll support you. So yeah, I can't finish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm paying attention. To you. It's okay. You can I can't go finish. And say. He's very caring. He teaches me how to love. I'm telling you, the way this man loves, I keep saying it, like he loves. Like, that love of like when you die, I'll die with you. I'm like, no, I'm not going to die. <laughs> You die. <laughs> I still have like, children. Mm -hmm. so like, to raise my children. Yeah, like, there's, there are people to do that. Yeah, for him to say, no, there are people to raise the children. I can, I'd rather go with you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Basically, he challenges me. His love is extra. Every day I try to be like him. I say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I think I'm where am I now? <laughs> Uh, on a scale no, of 10. On a scale of 10. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You, you have no scale. Whoa, yeah. see? <laughs> oh, you see? Mm -hmm. So he's mm -hmm. just so sweet. He can be annoyed. He is funny. But with this, he'll get annoyed. And he'll tell me. But you see, he's almost like locking a person. He's angry and put it on someone else. Yet he's not annoyed. I yeah, I I love the way he loves. I love the way he loves me. 
Okay, I love, I love the energy he puts in something. Can't be No, I was just so glad. I don't know why. Uh, my own like personal philosophy is like there are few people that I've loved. I always, I even tell her so we can count them on one hand five, but now six, and I never expected it. And so you know, I'm, uh, people people would say I love her because she's beautiful. I love her because she's smart. Love because of this and this, but I don't love her because of any of that. I mean, that is just part of it. There's something about her, like her entire being, that is totally different from any other person. Uh -huh. that you, that you, you, you can't say, oh, I only love her because of this. Because she's beautiful, she's smart, she's kind, she's compassionate, she's so many things. So I can never say that I love her because of this. I just love the whole of her, the whole thing from head to toe, side to side. Like I just love her, oh, and then, <laughs> and I, I honest to God, I never realized that I could. Other people, I thought maybe I love them because I'm tied to them by DNA, but this is now loving someone that I. Uh, I'm not tied to in any way, but I know I, I truly love and I would do anything for Because she's so many things. I think the one thing that I could use to describe her, she's love itself, you know? <laughs> I don't forget, she is love. Okay. And you know how they say, you can't describe love. You can never describe what you like. But she is that. And so that's why I guess I love her. And, uh, mm. I don't take it. No, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't forget. Hey, let me tell you. Uh -huh. On my wedding, he told me, I, this is your wedding. I want you to do whatever you want. So you, if you like something, tell me. It's your wedding. I know it's our wedding, but I want you to have what you want. And I'm going to try my best to give it to you. So please. Uh, but just leave one thing. So, music is mine. It was very clear. Music is mine. So everything you saw there. <laughs> not everything. They disappointed him with the DJ not playing some songs or playing them badly. Mm, yeah. But he had a place of what is going to be played. Even the first song we just I don't know. All I know is he, <laughs> was, he wanted a song where it describes what he's feeling. I'm like, you guys, these people of Kabul I don't even listen to us. Like, no, I want them to know how I feel. I'm like, they are not going to listen to us. You know? Okay, I'll, I'll actually make it easy. So for, for anyone who knows it, who can pay attention to what? Event, like the song is called You and I. If they can take a minute and listen and listen to the uh, to the whole song, then I think we've danced to that song so many times. Yeah, I, I know she doesn't. Uh, she'll probably listen to it and be like, ah, "Really?" and then forget about it. But it's a song that I like, I like for both of us. This is a uh, band song called "You and I." I love that it was my wedding. <laughs> that experience. Let me see what I have. I love that uh, I had to get something out of him. You know, he never annoys me, really. He never, I try, I try to push, like I want to see how it's going to. It's me who keeps annoying him, but him, he never annoys me. Every time he does it, it's like a short time. So I love that at least I was able to get his side, because people are annoying him. <laughs> I would annoy him with this. I told you you're supposed to do this. So he, I got something out of him and he gets mad because of this and this. Basically the whole, the fact that he doesn't stay here, I don't usually get so much from him. But the wedding, it brought him out, like what he is. He would quarrel, he would do this, he would... 
to shout at me sometimes. <laughs> then after I'd be like, yes, you did, but you apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like we because we did too much together, it brought us together we forward but we would it showed how committed we are, I think. <laughs> like we are we fight but we come back. We say sorry to each other. <sighs> We're in preparations. I'm just waiting I'm wishing for a time machine. So I can take out almost like 80 90 percent of the people that were involved in pre uh, preparing the wedding like because no one seemed to uh, okay I told her I don't know if it's it's with everyone else but you know you get to a point where you want to do something for someone and you want to do it perfectly I knew for me for most parts that um Trigal, the wedding is the is the one one of the few highlights. There's okay, getting the babies and everything, but uh, at least I knew that was a highlight, and I wanted to do it right for her. So many disappointments left and right, but because of her energy, she can be like, oh, "It's okay, it's okay." Like that's I noticed the small things and small things way off and off and off. But to her, she thought it was, it's okay. Like, we, we can get through this. But I, I, didn't, I didn't want to disappoint her in any way. The truth hmm? is, I didn't want to look at the negative side. There are so much which are wrong. So I decided to focus on what is good. I ignore the bad side. I'm like, yeah, my deco turned out nicely. I started consoling myself with a good thing. And I kept telling him, this is nice. And he was like, this, this is not the whole thing I wanted to give you. I don't know what's wrong with the other thing. I don't know what's wrong with this person. He almost stood up to go and actually he did. At one point he disappeared <laughs> to go <laughs> to go and see what's wrong with you guys. <laughs> but <laughs> it happened. You know about it. We are married. I just I just wish I was I would just wish there was a time machine and I could go back and really fix everything for her. Found this moment. She may have found uh, found this moment, but. Me particularly. Uh, hey, how did you, know, you feel when I was coming? I told her when I was so I didn't cry. Oh, <laughs> and I'm glad that it happened. It was funny. <laughs> you kept telling me, I don't want to cry. Like, I don't want no, to good, cry. No, good. Like, I know. I don't it, it, to it, didn't, it didn't happen. Yeah. I, I think maybe that's. Uh, thank God to those people, uh, the, the service providers who had messed up. But I did. <laughs> But when I when she when she walked in and started working with, well, okay, she, she took uh, her presence like took away all the bad things about the service providers, and then hmm, seeing her walking was really it, it was really beautiful, and then her being so shy. <laughs> yeah, anybody that watches the video will see like she was extremely shy. Hmm? <laughs> but but it's in front of like parents who come and kiss you. He, oh god, even in the traditional function, he kissed me like, oh god, can't you wait? Even at work, hmm. he'll come to big man and be like, oh god. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But it's cute. Meanwhile, hmm. I love it. I be shy, it. but I love it. Yeah. <laughs> When I'm going to find something that will make it disappear. Mm -hmm. I think when he was giving that speech, oh my god, it felt like a poem. Did you like? <laughs> <laughs> did you write it like fast or like you had to first? It you out? told me to write my vows and everything, and but I, I don't think I can write something. I just when it's some something right, someone right, you just speak from the heart. Anyway, that's what he told. He's like, no, I don't have to write my boss. The moment I see you, I'll get the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I think when you're giving a speech, I felt so special. Oh my god, so nice. Okay. It was so sweet. Hmm. I hope I keep your home, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, you found a home. Mm -hmm. I hope I keep your home. 
Yeah. 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 Ye
Actually, yeah, no, that like, is that is that is absolutely true. Because, like what you just um, said right there, like you don't force anything, you don't rush anything, and if, if I don't know, they keep saying follow your heart, stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, in, in this case, it's uh, it's you follow your heart. If if you can't see yourself, like. You know what she, 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 always, she always says, oh, I get mad at this, and then, but if, I, I also always envisioned her like, she, but she would, she, she's so funny that she would try to tell me like, I, I, I really want to get you mad and see what you'll do. Hmm? And me personally, yeah, I would also like run that matrix in my, in my head and see like, what would happen? And every time I would always end up with, um, would always end up being like fixing whatever it is but yeah if you can't if you run that matrix in your mind and you can't see yourself forgiving someone or doing some don't do it don't listen to your friends whoever uh, family like don't just see it in yourself if you think about it and you see that okay this is not right for me then do it and by the way, also the other thing is probably not to try and you know how someone you you run a simulation within your mind and then it comes back and you're dead like in the movies. If you see you're dead, don't try and force it on events. <laughs> but okay, no, this is the, the, the second, the third, or fifth time I'll I'll come out alive. No, once the simulation within your mind comes back and it's not working, then you know it won't work. But if it does, trust me, it will. Because you always fight to keep it alive. Whatever happens, it doesn't matter what life throws at you, you will always end up being, uh, mm, come out victorious. Uh, and I won't say anything like, thank you for watching us, sorry, I just say, love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, let me say it. <laughs> thank you for watching our story, us, the jacket. The jacket. Yeah. You're lucky. <laughs> She's saying it. <laughs>